Hey guys, we're going to talk about how to open a um, new file in Photoshop to make your composites, to make your collages. So every time you start a new file in Photoshop, um, you can't just go into open and start placing everything on a surface that you found. You need to create a new file so that it'll fit out of the printer. That's the most important thing. So you can click on create new. You could also go up to File New, or you can just hit Command N, and you will get the new document window that comes up on the screen. And if you've used Photoshop several times, you'll see different sizes that you may have already made. But for you, for Photo 1, every single time, you're going to do a width of 8 and a height of 10. So it's going to be 8 by 10 with a resolution of 150. So every single time you start a new project, you're always going to do 8 by 10 inches with a resolution of 150. Um, your color mode is going to be RGB, and then you can choose your background to either be white, um, which will be just a solid white background because you're printing on white paper, or transparent, which is the same thing again because you're printing on um, white paper. But I'll choose transparent so that you can see um, what a transparent background looks like in case you're interested in that. So again, it's file, new, 8 by 10, 150 resolution, and then you hit create. And here's my transparent background. Um, the next thing you're going, going to want to do is do a command O to open and grab an image out of your Photoshop Photos folder and open it up and as you can see now that file is open here and over here is my untitled page so I click back to this photo to get this one on the page I want to do command A to select all command C to copy command W to close the window and command V as in Victor to paste it in and then here's my move tool where I can move this layer anywhere I want um, we'll worry about transforming it and doing other steps in a little bit. So again, if I want to get a picture on the page, I do a command O to open. I grab an image out of my Photoshop Photos folder. And here's the image right here. And then I do a command A to select all, command C to copy, command W to close the window, command V as in Victor to paste it in and don't worry about transforming yet. We'll go over that soon. Um, but you can see that this field is on top of layer one. So I can come over to layer one and I can click and drag layer one to the top of the pile. And um, then there it is. So that's how um, you open a new file. You do never want to, and I'm just gonna X out of this and not save it. You never wanna just open a picture and start working on your picture from here because as you can see if I go to image image size the window that pops up shows me that this resolution is 72 and the width and the height is 3 so it's not go it's going to be super pixelated um, and teeny tiny when it comes out of the printer so we don't want to do it that way also if you take a picture with your iPhone and open it up here in Photoshop it is huge and it won't fit out of the printer um, and it causes other problems along the way. So you just always want to get into the habit every single time to do file new, eight by 10 inches, 150 resolution, RGB color. Um, you can choose a transparent or a white background and start with this as your surface to make your picture. And then you do your command O to open, grab the file you want Command A, Command C, Command W, Command V, and you paste that in and we work from here on this surface. Once you are done working on a project, there is another tutorial to show you how to save everything, but I'll show you right now also that you just come up here to File, Save As, and it's going to give you some choices. So first you're going to want to save it on your computer and you get this window that comes up. So I'm just going to put field practice. Um, I can save it on my desktop for right now. Um, but then I need to drag it into my Google Drive. Or if your Google Drive is already set up, you can save it right into your Google Drive. So if you're planning on coming back and working on your project a little bit longer, you're going to want to save it as a Photoshop format 
with the layers. So if I do that and save it, it's saving it as a Photoshop fo format with the layers and it saves it to my desktop and then I'd want to drag it into my Google Drive for safekeeping. Um, and then I could come back and work on it again. If I'm done working on it, I'm going to do File, Save As. And instead, I'm going to save it as either a JPEG or a TIFF. And what that's going to do is it's going to um, save it as a flat file that you can do um, that you can upload to Schoology. So anytime you're uploading something to Schoology to hand it in, you either want to hand it in as a TIF or a JPJ, JPG. Um, and if you want to come back and work on it again, you want to save it as a Photoshop document, a PSD. But always make sure that you save everything in your Google Drive. Um, in case something goes wrong with the computers, you'll always have it with you at all times. If you have any questions, as always, just ask.